Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be showing you my first little invert communal. At the moment, it's not very much in there, but over time it will probably grow, most of these things do. But um, this is a start, so I'll show you what I've done and I'll see you at the end. So here's the enclosure. Just a basic setup for now, a few plants, a bit of cork bark, some branches from the garden and a few fairy stones. <laughs> Bits of slate. <laughs> and some orchid bark. Like I say, it's just a basic setup, but as time goes by, it will change, it'll evolve once I find some different bits and pieces to put in it. But for now, we'll introduce the animals that are going to be calling this home. First of all, we have a little, come here you, come, no, 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 no. There you go, up the fingers. We have a Morio worm or black oil beetle who is now off for a wander. <laughs> he will. So we'll put him in first of all. Oh, little mate. Oh, <laughs> you always a little bit more cake, come on. Yeah, that way. Get on. There you go, new home. There you go. And in here, we have some springtails and some isopods. There's a mixture of giant orange, orange. isopods and dairy cow isopods. Where you can just about see if I... Shift them about. I'll just sprinkle it in to be fair and see what they do. There's the dairy cow one. There's a few of them, so what we'll do is add those. We'll let them dig their way in and... Sprinkle them in and as it blows. There we go, some over there. Some on there. So there's a bit of moss in there as well, to be fair. So some around there. There you go. Mm -hmm. There's quite a few in there. I told you. There's loads. That's amazing. So Rue, Rue picked up quite a few, to be fair, so I'll turn all that. That's it. There you go. You can see the little orange isopods and the little dairy cows. There's quite a few babies in there as well, so... Look, I'm over there. I think there's a tiny, tiny baby Millie in there as well. Oh, cool. Well, we'll find out if it emerges and grows and whatever. But we have also... Roaches. We have six hissing. very young Madagascan hissing cockroaches. That are not hissing. Come here. That aren't hissing at the moment. Ooh, maybe only hiss at a certain... Oh, okay, shit. <laughs> we have one that's now in the enclosure. Whether it wanted to be or not. Well, Come here, you little bugger. Mm -hmm. Come here then. They're quick. They are quick, and they come here. Look, on to my fingers. <laughs> there you go. There is a young, giant hissing cockroach. Oh, there was two. Look, there's another one. <laughs> I got one too. Okay. Hello. There you go. On you go, in you go. In you go, get off, there you go. You're clingy little buggers. Come yeah. on, there you go, that's one in there, and there you go. What a quick little bugger. <laughs> How many was that? I've got no idea. Might have to dig through this and see if there's actually another. There's six in there, isn't there? There are six in here. This is probably is that, the biggest one. Oh, it's a roach underneath me with the boss. <laughs> <laughs> No, I did. don't, don't fall, don't fall, there you go. There you are. Oh, there's another one here. There's another one there, okay then. Yeah, I wasn't six. sure if she actually counted six or seven. I don't know, you mean. Yeah, however many there are, they're in. Let me, let me in there now, I'll have a quick fork. One, uh, two, three. Don't know, some of them are buried already. Oh, yeah, they will. I can't see anymore. No, that's cool. What we'll do is just add a bit of that stuff to it as well. I know we've got some in there already, but... There is exploring. We'll add a little bit of that to it. Oh, I like this. All the baby root, all the baby... They're cool, aren't they? Yeah, they are. See, if they're like mine, they'll go wild and spring... Any springtails. Yeah. Like... Now, what we are going to add is a couple of... Mario Kart. Mario Kart worms. We'll add a couple of them, and hopefully they'll burrow away and turn into no, beetles, not. like... The little wanderer here. I think it's super cute. Right. Just grab a couple of these things. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the way they feel. They are vile. They bite as well. Do they? Yeah, they're big, yes. If you can bite me, I'll bite you back. <laughs> Horrible little sods. I've put about... How many? They're just going to borrow... No, they're just going to borrow... No, you know, if you put that in a transfer enclosure, it'd be buried by now. Oh, Christ, yeah, because they can probably sense the tarantulas. They are right wriggly little boys. They are right wriggly little things, aren't they? So if we put... 
And now you want to put it in there? No, I'm going to chuck half a dozen in there. Why not? Come here. Thank you. We've got some fish food in the cooker machine. They should... Ooh! Is that half a one? Oh, no, it's a bit of... <laughs> Oh dear God! How many is that? Four. Four. I let these bury in already. There you go. Come here, Wigglies. Five. One more for luck. Choose a big fat one. How do you do that when they bury themselves? There you go. There are now six Mario really worms in there as well. That's cool, isn't it? Look, you see the bits of wood moving. Yeah, <laughs> I know. You need to spray it. I do need to spray oh, it. You're right. Cuttlefish goes in as well. A few chunks of cuttlefish in there. Don't know if they actually use it, or eat it, or whatever, but we'll add it. Isn't that a protein thing? Stop them eating each other and stuff. I think so. Something like that. Have you got any fish food? I've got fish, like little pellet things, not fish flakes. I know that the roaches like the flakes. Hey, do you know that bug jelly stuff? Yeah. Get, have you got a little bottle top? Put some bug jelly in there and mine like that. Same as you do with the roaches. Yeah. No roaches. There's quite a few springtails in here, to be fair, you know. Yeah, what, sorry? There's quite a few springtails in here, to be fair. Oh, I know. I noticed that. The beetle is walking round near the Mario worms. I wonder if he realises that I used to be you. Yeah, my family. He's climbing over the plant. Oh, he's changed his mind. Here we go. A bottle top of bug gel. Bug grub. Yeah, pop that there. I don't know if it's buried underneath there. How's that? That's a Mario worm. Oh, that's a... Stone? Yeah. Have they moved already? One of the stones has already been buried. Fair enough. I don't want to put it on top of the Mario worms. Why don't you put it under here? Put it under there. Hello, it's one poking under the rock. There we go, a bit of bug gel for them so they can have a drink. We'll put some food in there later on and I will spritz it down. See, they're manoeuvring it already, look. Oh yeah. I got roaches. You've got a pet that moves. I know. <laughs> yeah, that makes a change. Most of them don't. There's quite a few little ones, you know. There are, there's loads of little ones, but that's good. I hope yours go crazy like mine do. Hey, Beetle. The Beetle's cool, isn't he? I know. I know, I really like him. Because mine will congregate underneath the... Yeah. Bark thing. Nice and clean now. Awesome. Yeah. Job done. There you go. Right. So I need to put something over the top of it for now. Yeah, you do. Otherwise, it'll climb up that branch and bugger off. Yeah, I know. There you go. So now we have dubias, hisses, isopods, a beetle, and hopefully, with the Mario worms in there, some more beetles. The beetles eat the bit of fish food. So it is. Look at that. Those are in a chomp. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. God, I'm so easily pleased. Um, <laughs> so that was it. Um, like I say, hopefully, over time, those roaches will grow and I'll be able to show you how they develop and I'll show you how I change the setup over time as it grows, as the animals grow. Obviously, they'll need a slightly bigger enclosure. So we'll update you on that when the time comes. But for now, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.